morning everybody so today is actually the 28th 28th of january and the weather has been absolutely rubbish up until today and is actually still predicted to be a little bit bad later today but as you see we've got larry with us hi larry how you doing she's a lot more camera friendly than quaffle is aren't you darling we are going on a very exciting adventure today we are going to take quaffle hopefully out for her first ever free flight and lyra out for some desensitization training now unfortunately for lyra that does mean having to go on a harness i would take her out in the carrier but then if i open the carrier there's a risk of her going off for a fly and we don't want that she's going to be on a harness while she does some desensitization and quaffle is going to go in the backpack and quaffle is hopefully going to do a couple of flies as well as actually taking the girls out for their first fly of 2023 lyra still needs some desensitization training before she goes out for her first fly she's very very close she's very very close to being free flight ready what i thought you guys would be interested in is what we actually take with us or how we get ready to go on a free flight trip first of all we have our bag this is specifically quaffle's free Free flight bag. This used to be my backpack. It is now designated Quaffle Free Flight Backpack. We take one of our perches with us, which actually fits very well. Please excuse the poo. I've not had a chance to clean it yet. We take the GoPro. The GoPro is in there as well on its stand. Currently in a protective case just in case Quaffle decides to try and kill it. Also in the middle of video editing, can't you tell? We take a minimum of one bowl for them to have a drink in. We'll take a bottle of water. Fail. We take the treat bag and fill it with lots of treats. Because Lyra is actually coming with us on this trip, we're actually going to take the second stand as well, which at the moment needs a little bit of fixing. So she has something to sit on while Quaffle's doing her training. So that is pretty much everything we take with us in our bag. So the girls have something to eat, they have something to drink. I don't usually take that many treats, but with it being our first fly of the year, I, <laughs> I want to try and make it as positive as I can for Lyra and also have lots of reason for Carpool to come back. That's why we're taking slightly more treats than usual to make it as positive of the experience as we can. So obviously these little guys are actually sensitive to protein, so they can't actually have too many treats. This is also going to be the first time I'm taking them both out on my own together. Lyra, will you stop eating my hand? But now it's time for me to get dressed. And can I just say, getting dressed with two birds is not easy. So now we are dressed and ready to go. Time to get the girls ready. Lyra is going to end up going on a harness, which she's still getting used to. I didn't quite do enough training with her. I did slightly rush it because of the season and I am eager to get her out free flying because she's going to be an amazing free flyer. But I do advise anyone who is training a bird on a harness, please, please train them and get them at least desensitized to it before starting to throw it on them. If they associate that harness with a bad thing, they're going to start rejecting it and hating it. Quaffle got used to the harness quite quickly and even though she hated putting it on, once it was on she always got dead excited because she knew it meant we were going outside. Lyra on the other hand hasn't learned that yet and although she's comfortable with the harness, she doesn't like it being fast and tightened. So that is something we're still working on with her. As you can see, Lyra is really not a fan of the harness. Like I said, she doesn't mind putting it on, but the actual tightening of it, you don't like it. She will do anything to try and get it off. She flips and flaps and all sorts. Lyra, calm down. I don't particularly like putting a harness on her, but it's only going to be for hopefully a few visits. But then we're going to do some proper desensitization training with it. So we are now out of It's actually not good free fly weather now. It wasn't predicted to rain today at all, but it is actually helping. <laughs> As you can hear, she's alerting to everything. Every noise, every sound, everything right now is scary to her. Everything is frightening. This is why desensitization is so important for you free fly bird. Lyra's calmed down a lot now. She's adjusting more. She's not alerting as much. She's not aware of what's going on around her. You can use your harness a little bit there. Can you? She's also spooked a couple of times. But that was to be expected with it being only her 
Second time on the harness, it's also a Saturday, so it's really busy. There's people, there's dogs, there's roadworks on our roads. So again, this is why desensitisation walks or desensitisation outing are very, very important. It doesn't have to be on a harness. I just prefer to use a harness because it gives them a bit more view of the wide world. You can just do it in a travel cage, take them on a walk, do it in a backpack, like we've got the quaffle. Alira's just done a spook and spooked herself into a tree. Now I've got to try and get down out of there. Oh my god, it's a tree crawler. It's a tree crawler. I don't have any idea how rare those birds are. I have never seen one around here before. God, I love these birds. Lyra is happily on a perch, but not too happy about her harness, are you, darling? So I'm trying to make it as rewarding, as comforting as possible. Yes, rewarding, as comforting as possible. Surprise, surprise. Quaffle always goes to a tree straight away, so we're just doing some comforting with Lyra, aren't we, darling? Yes, we're just doing some comfort with Lyra. Can you come? Yes, good girl, good girl, very good. See, see, this is good. Lyra? It's like, I know, I don't like this thing, though. Lyra? <laughs> She's like, nope. Come on. That's it, three toes. Good girl. Lyra's done a couple of A to B's in her harness, but the harness was really stressing her out. She was fed up with it, she was annoyed with it, so she's having some desensitization time in the cage. Which again, she's not too happy about, are you, darling? No, but it's better to do desensitization in there than on a stressful harness. Buffalo on the other hand. Hi, girl, you finally ready for training? Some bird over there's alarm calling. I'd look around, but I can't see what it's alarm calling over. And dog's over there. The couple staying in her tree. I'd keep an eye out to see what these birds are alarm calling for, whether or not it's the alarm calling because of quaffle. Yep, quaffle's alarm calling too. Something going on. What have you all spotted? actually desensitized way faster than I expected it to. Well, I love that she's out to fly away, but she wants to do a bit more training. She, she's very eager. She's a very eager girl. Good so right, you're going to be the best free flyer. One big one. 
One big one, that's it. Okay, that's it. Good girl. Yeah! Yes, good girl. Good girl. Adam, yeah, you're not a fly, you just sit in trees. there to compete with. That I wasn't expecting. Was not expecting this. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Very stupid and very brave. Go on. Yes! Good girl! Great girl! Good girl! It's gonna go first! Yes, Puffle! Good girl! There we go. Two, two birds in a backpack ready to go. <laughs> Now we've been out, the girls are in the backpack, ready to go. It's time to pack up. Don't bosh yourself in the head with a perch. Mm. And time to go home. They're so tired now. I don't even think we were out for half an hour. And they're both so sleepy.